Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to talk about really crucial and useful theorem. This is called Stewart's theorem. And moreover, in this video tutorial, I will not only show you how to prove this theorem, but also show you how to apply this theorem on these application problems like one that you can see over here. Now let's go ahead and talk about Stewart's theorem. As you can see, we got this triangle ABC such that this lowercase a is the side length opposite to this vertex A. This is lowercase b opposite to vertex B. And likewise, this side length is lowercase c that is opposite to this vertex C. And moreover, this line segment AD, which has a length D, this divides this side BC into two parts. First part is length M, the second part is length N. And here's our Stewart's formula, MB square plus NC square equals to AD square plus MAN. Now let's focus on these line segments. They are going up and down. That means C, D, and B. And as you can see in this formula, all of them are with the square. So C square, D square, and B square, as you can see over here. And now let me show you an easy way to memorize this formula to remember it. Let's look at on the right hand side. I just wrote down M A N right up here and A D square could be written as A times D times D or if I can switch them around I can write as D A D dad and on the left hand side this M B square could be written as M times B times B. I just wrote down B M B bomb and then plus n times c times c. I just wrote down c n c. Thus we can remember it as man plus dad equals to bomb plus sink. So let's go ahead and get started with the proof. Now let's focus on this triangle a d b and we are going to apply the law of cosines as you can see over here. So let's focus on our this triangle ADB. Let me go ahead and call this angle ADB, this angle as alpha. Then we can write our law of cosine as C square equal to M square plus D square minus 2MD cosine of alpha. Now let me go ahead and call this equation as number 1. And now let's focus on this another triangle ADC that I have just shaded over here. And I'm going to apply the law of cosines once again. Let me go ahead and call this angle ADC as this angle beta. Then our law of cosine is going to become simply b square equal to n square plus d square minus 2nd cosine of beta. And let me go ahead and call this as an equation number 2. Now let's focus on these angles alpha plus beta. This whole angle is 180 degrees. No wonder we are going to call them alpha and beta are supplementary angles because they add up to 180 degrees. Then always remember that cosine of alpha plus cosine of beta equal to zero. If not sure, let me give you an example. And here's a quick example. If I call alpha 45 degree, then beta is going to be 135 degrees. And if we take a cosine of 45 degrees, that is square root of two over two, and cosine of 135 degrees is negative square root of two over two. If we add them, we are going to get indeed zero. So therefore I can write cosine of alpha equal to, if I move this, 
cosine beta on the other side become negative cosine of beta just keep in your mind now let's go ahead and replace cosine of alpha by negative cosine of beta in this equation one so here our equation one simply becomes like over here i wrote down by just replacing this cosine of alpha by negative cosine of beta and here i multiplied this negative and negative becomes simply positive sign and let me go ahead and call this equation a number three now let's focus on this part on equation two and this part on equation three they are almost same the only difference is if, if i multiply this equation to this one by m and this one by n they're gonna look alike and here's our next step let's go ahead and multiply this equation 2 by m and equation 3 by n so that means i am going to multiply this whole right and left side by m and this the question number 3 by n both sides and here i got these two equations as you can see over here the first one by multiplying by m and the other one by multiplying by n across the board let me go ahead and call this equation number four and this equation number five and let's go ahead and add these two equations now this equation four and five if we add these one we can see that clearly these two terms cancel out and after adding these two equations we ended up with this part on the left hand side you can see over here and this part on the right hand side is right up here and these two terms i added them up and they showed up right up here and here's our final equation that i just brought down nicely over here let's look at on these first two terms we can see that m n is in common and over here in the these two terms d square is in common so i can write this one as m b square plus n c square once we factor out m n we are going to get n plus m and here i am going to factor out d square i got m plus n and now let's look at this n plus m and this m plus n that is nothing more than just an a these are the sum of these m plus n gives us an a and here's our final equation once we have replaced m plus n by a over here and m plus n by a over here and that completes our proof as you can see over here and here's our application problem and i'm going to show you how to apply this stewart's theorem on this example and here we got this triangle abc such that this side length b is 20 side length c is 13 this m is 14 n is 7 and a is the sum of m plus n so 14 plus 7 that means a equals to 21 and now i will show you how to calculate this distance d and here i just wrote down this stewart's formula over here and since we are going to solve for d let me show you how to isolate this d square we are going to move this m a n on the left hand side and here i move this m a n on the left hand side let me just divide both sides by a i'm going to divide this one by a and this one by a and here we can see that a cancels out with this a this cancels out with this a so thus we have isolated this d square part over here as you can see by just writing this m b square plus n c square divided by a right up here and then minus m times n is right up here 
And now it's going to be a lot easier and simpler to input these values in this formula. Now let's go ahead and fill in the blanks. So d square, we are going to calculate that one. In our case, m is 14. So I can write 14 times b in our case is 20. And then I'm going to put a square plus n in our case is 7. And c in our case is 13. And then square divided by a in our case is 21 and then we are going to close the bracket minus m in our case is 14 and n is 7 and here you can see simple calculations here 20 square turns out to be 400 13 square is 169. I went ahead and multiplied these ones. I got 5600 plus 1183 over here. And I, I added them up. We got 6783 divided by 21. So we got 323 and then minus 98. As you can see, we are just carrying that one over. So our d squared turns out to be simply 225. Now let's go ahead and take the square root on both sides to undo this square. So thus our length ad turns out to be 15. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.